Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas from Magic Path. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at different ways of how to design and build a landing page for your SaaS company. And when you're inside of Magic Path, it's as easy as just clicking on this plus button down here and asking it to create a landing page for a SaaS app, right? Click on submit and Magic Path basically cooks up this beautiful design where we have a nav bar, we have a hero section, we have this um, features section right here, we have these logos over here of partners, a testimonial card, pricing section, and a nice footer. And what makes Magic Path truly magical is the large variety of ways of you know refining your design using AI. As you select this canvas over here, and you go to the top, you see this Ask Magic Path, which is basically the same chat interface we use to actually generate this component. And you can continue refining your design here with this chat mode by saying something like, create a dark mode version of my landing page. And what I like to usually do is I like to get this. And what I like to do is just copy this and Command V pasting it on the side. And with this new copied frame, we can eventually just refine our design, right? And we have different potentials of doing so. If we select it, we can see up here, we have this Ask Magic Path, which basically opens up this chat interface, um, very similar to the one that we use to actually generate the first component. And we get some presets, like make it more modern looking, change the color scheme to blue, add a search feature, right? But in this case, I wanna create a, a dark mode of my landing page. And in a matter of seconds, we get our result basically looking pretty much the same in terms of context and in, and in layout, but with a nice dark mode applied to it. And now the next thing that we can do is something a little bit more manual in terms of designing. We can go up here to edit component and just hover over a specific section that you want to edit. Let's say that we want to edit this H1 text, click on this, and we could change the content over here, right? Write something else. And we can also change the font family to something else. Let's say we like the space grotesque. And we can also adjust the font size to be a little bit smaller if we wanted to. We can also use the edit component tool to basically highlight a section and ask AI to edit a certain section. Let's, let, like, let's say, make the button more modern or let's or add an image below the buttons. Then we have to click on generate and we get an image below, below our button, which also comes with a nice little caption, right? Now, another cool thing here is creating variants. So we can, you know, select our, our canvas and click on create variants and we can create auto variants with AI, or we can modify the variants with a specific prompt. So we can put like modern design, dark mode, colorful buttons example. Click on submit. And as we click on submit, three different variants pop up all loading at the same time. And again, after a couple of seconds, we get three variants with all being dark mode, all having bright colors as buttons, right? This one being like a blue gradient, as you can see, um, this one over here with this dark mode, purple type of style, blue, purple, right? and this other one being more of a pink orange, right? Now, this is a way of just adding in a prompt and saying, you know, give me a SaaS landing page, but you can also go over here, click on the plus and add a new component and basically be a little bit more specific as to what types of sections you want. And you can also give it some image references for different, different types of styles that you like. So let's say I really like the Stripe website I really like the colors. I like this type of hero section. Let me just copy this. So you can be a little bit more specific as to what types of, types of sections you want. Build me a SAS landing page with a colorful hero section, an about us section, a call to action section, a pricing section, a newsletter sign up section, and a simple footer, right? So we can click on submit over here. And we basically get a landing page with a very colorful hero section. We get the why choose flow sync. We get the call to action section, the pricing section, stay in the loop with the newsletter and a very simple footer as we just said, right? 
And once you want to go with a specific design that you really like, that you can go ahead and preview it in a new tab right here, just like this. Or you can go back into Magic Path and basically click on this code icon, download the code base, or open it directly in cursor and basically end up connecting it to your own domain. So yeah, guys, hope this tutorial was helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and if you want to see any more topics in relation to Magic Path. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.